Hi everybody, I have something a little, a little bit different to show you today. As I say, still looking up stairs into the collection. And I may have shown this previously, but perhaps a, few, uh, a little while ago. Anyhow, what we've got is, uh, oh, I'll show you. That is what is on the telephone itself. The phone is of the, get the right thing, is of the normal 332 shape. When I say 332 shape, uh, it was a shape devised by Ericsson quite a few years ago. And this phone is an example of their shape being used. Um, okay, the, there was differences. Obviously the back is held on differently. But basically it's the same shape as a 332. Now while I've got the handset out, let's have a quick look at that. Well made these phones were. There's the, the receiver, which has a metal diaphragm, which you have to slide these on and off. Don't try and lever them off because they're obviously under magnetism. You have to slide them on and off so you don't damage them. And the microphone or transmitter goes in there, which I will show you. The typical type or shape, basic shape, as used on the continent. This is a particularly well made one. Um, nothing on it, I can't see anything on it. The only thing that's got it on is, uh, it looks like a hundred, well that means a hundred ohms. That's the only thing on there. You know, looking at close-up things, let's have a look. What I did find inside was a diagram. Let's put it around the other way so I can... Yeah, I know you'll have to look at it sideways so I can get a better picture of it if I put it that way around. There's your diagram. Keep it on there a little bit longer. I can get close-ups of various things. I think diagrams are very important. And that can mean the difference between getting a phone to work or not. There's the diagram. Turning the base plate over. You've got a date there. Looks like 1941. So this telephone's actually older than me, with the same trademark of two people walking hand in hand. I've got further information on these. The name is Perichel Erickson from Praha Kolin. Now Kolin is actually a town, I think, in the Czech Republic. The company was founded in 1934. It was obviously influenced by uh, the Ericsson Company. In 1946, being connected uh, with Czechoslovakian, the company is thought to become Tesla Colin. The model we're looking at now, my particular phone, is made in 1941, as the, as it says on there. So yes, quite a good phone, well made. The handset also, to prove that it's the right handset, you've got the same logo in there, exactly the same. And... The box that goes on the wall 
likewise the two the two walking figures that's your uh, connector the cable going out there line cord is the early type which is um, braided and the handset cord is a pleated cord which you'd expect to find turning the phone over this is um Bakelite job. Just trying to think what was it? Oh, yeah. The screw to hold it in is, is an extension of the chassis inside metal. And that also screws down to the, the Bakelite. I'm not taking it out. All right. Perhaps a bit, bit being on the careful side. I don't quite know what the dial looks like, but underneath there, you just see it. You've got your uh, the switch, uh, the uh, the cradle the contacts, and the other side. You can see uh, the capacitors. And if you look down the side there, well, it's not very clear you've got your induction coil so they're all they're all there these are well made as you can see they've used lovely brass screws okay the bells have got a bit rusted but we expect and you think an item that's older than me and I'm an old codger so you know there we go every screw as I say on the terminals are all in brass So these were a well-made phone. The bell's quite neat. Don't think of it. anything else. No, that is more or less all I've got to say about this phone. I think it is possibly a fairly rare phone. Um, it does appear on Google with quite a few entries the radio museum has a mention of this and also the imperial war museum so yeah i would say a valuable phone and this one is in very very good nick the baker lights intact no damage the handset's okay and what i also noticed was the brass attachments to the to the um, the handset which the they screw into the cap screw into which is rather nice anyhow that is more or less all, all I've got to say about this phone so any comments please make very nice phone don't ask me where I got it from Possibly off of eBay. Remember in those days originally you could pick up phones for a sensible amount of money. This one probably would have cost a little, little bit more. Probably being imported from uh, wherever it was imported from. I can't remember. But phones in the whole are, are getting very sillily priced. Even the sound... 706 which are common well, I think they're common they're asking big money for them I think I saw one up for 200 pounds absolute stupidity but there again if people can get that I suppose they will will do this I certainly won't, won't pay that kind of money for for a 706 I've got some but not at that price anyhow I've finished chatting away so thanks again for watching and as I say this is the recapping very quickly Prochel Ericsson from Praha Kolin 
and Kolin is a town in Praha or near Prague presumably. Czech Republic company founded in 1934 and in 1946 it became part of the Tesla empire you could say Tesla Kolin and this model we're looking at was manufactured in 1941. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.